pleasure. How do you feel when you hear that word? What connotation does that word have to you? Is it something sexual or is it something that only a few people have? Is it something that you have to work hard in order to achieve? Is it something that you enjoy or that you consider bad and egotistic? I'm Sasha and I'm here to talk to you today about pleasure. So for me, pleasure has been pretty challenging. At first, I would consider it something that only some people were entitled to having, those that maybe were born into some privilege or maybe had worked very hard all of their lives and then achieved that privilege. And it's curious when you consider that pleasure is in so many things. There is pleasure in smelling a sweet oil, um, a scented oil, or there is pleasure in holding a dear one in your arms. However, in the eyes of so many of us, that is not something that you want to focus on. You want to focus on creating and moving and being productive and being this and being the other and achieving and going and creating. And, and then maybe one day, maybe if you're lucky, you might be able to enjoy and stop and smell roses. But not now, because right now you have to go and be productive. God, no wonder that we are so tired and so born out at the end of the day. That's where I learned that pleasure was not only a birthright, but that it was a natural state of beings. What if I told you that pleasure is the state in which babies are born? When you see their face, what they have is pleasure. It's not happiness, content, worry. It's just this capacity of being astonished. And in that capacity of being astonished, there is great pleasure. And that's how we are born, in pleasure. We are the result of pleasure. Yet we disconnect from it because we believe it's sinful or egotistic or something we have to earn. And then we stop living in the present moment because we are constantly striving for that ideal moment when we will be able to actually earn a place in the table. And in not being present, in the now is that we are missing the pleasure. It's that we are missing the capacity to just look at the world with these eyes of wonder, with these eyes of joy. I know that because I have been there too. I mean, that is something that still comes back even when I am when I am an expert in this area, sometimes it's like, oh my God, first I have to go and go and create and do this go, go, go mentality. Um, it's just a choice that sometimes it's hard to make to say, hey, wait, stop. Let me just be in the present moment, be in my body and be in the sensations that I'm feeling right now. Because in those sensations lies the capacity for pleasure. We can explore pleasure just by allowing ourselves to be in our five senses. So that per se is a mystical experience. It's a mystical experience that we are removing ourselves from because we connect pleasure to guilt. If I ask you today, tell me five guilty pleasures, I'm sure you're going to write a list. Because guilt and pleasure 
are very easy for you to connect, for all of us. But if I tell you, tell me five things that feel pleasurable right now in your body, in your senses, would that be as easy? So I want to ask you to do that, actually. Let's explore. Let's find this week five pleasurable things to do with our five senses. I want you to see something that brings you pleasure through your eyes. I want you to taste something that feels pleasurable in your mouth. I want you to hear something that is pleasurable to your ears. I want you to smell something delightful and pleasurable for you. And I want you to feel in your body something pleasurable, maybe a touch, maybe silk, maybe making love, whatever caresses, uh, maybe a fabric that you wear, but everything that caresses your skin in a way that feels pleasurable. Or maybe you like a rough touch, a rough sensation, or caressing your pet. Whatever feels pleasurable to your skin. Could you play with me? Tell me five things that in this week bring pleasure to your five senses. And then just enjoy in what that makes for you. How that shifts your awareness of the present moment. Does it bring you back into the now? I'm looking forward to hearing your experiences with this. And I also want to tell you, I'm so excited. I am creating a group program, which is a training for Pussy Priestesses, the Jade Pussy Priestesses. We're going to be working with all of this mystical journey of recovering and reclaiming our body and our pleasure. I'll tell you more about it eventually. And right now I'm also working with one-on-one clients through my Unbroken program. If you want to know more about it, just click on my link on my page, sasha-cueta.com. I'm so looking forward to hearing from you. Leave me a comment with your pleasures. Looking forward to hearing what's yours.